Right, this is my new uh, ground station that I've been working on. Um, I'm going to use it for my plane when I finally manage to get it maidened. So what we've got is a 1.3 uh, gig receiver um, with a clover leaf on it. Uh, these two LED displays. That one's red, that one's blue, but it doesn't really show up very well on this camera for some reason. Anyway. So that's the voltage bat the battery voltage which is here. And that one's the BEC voltage um, which is there, which is actually powering my uh, DVR. Now the only thing I was wondering about is getting another Easy UHF module, um, one of the standalone modules, so as I can just you know, bolt it on the back somewhere. But I've been looking at the JR module, which I've already got. Um, these things you can take them, you can actually get this apart very, very easily. There's just two screws in the top. Um, and I think I'm going to be using this uh, because I've already got one. So I'll try and show you how to do it. Right, well, you, you'll need a couple of things. Um, after taking the module apart, which is only two screws that go in the top, just the two there, and then it slowly it, it does slide out. So I've decided I'm going to put the, the mount in here on the side so I can mount it like that, blah blah, anyway. So you'll need two things. Number one is a scrap um, transmitter, which I don't know how I blew this up, but it did actually blow up, which you can see there. So I'm going to take the connector, which is a 5 pin connector. I'm going to take that off because that's needed for the same 5 pin connector on here. I'll just count and make sure I've got it right. And also you'll need a um, a plug to go basically into there, which you can get off any video, video transmitter. So I've got to take I've got to take that connector off first. That's going to be the hardest part because it's lead free. But so what I've done is um, I've cut a hole in the bottom, as you can see. Um, now these I'm going to route. Um, to that connector which is the JR module connector for the Tyrannus. Obviously when, you, when, you're, um, when you're cutting this make sure it fits in your Tyrannus to make sure it doesn't bind because if you have it sticking out like that it will bind obviously. And if you have it too far in you'll never get the damn thing out again. So this is a permanent fixture by the way, so when you actually, because I'm going to have to um, epoxy this in place to stop it coming out because, you know. So there's that bit done. As you can see I've soldered the five wires onto the back side of the connector. Actually that's not the back side of the connector, that is the connector. That's the face that actually sticks into the, um, the Tyrannus. So I've soldered those on and Immersion RC have very kindly left the cut out there so as you can actually put the wires through. And that's going to go on that side and then that connector is going to go on there. And I've cut the hole out ready for the connector. Now this has got to be obviously flush so as it will go into um, the Tyrannus still. So that, that you can't be sticking out at all anywhere on there. So as you can use it either internal or external. Just a note on this before anybody mentions it, why didn't I put an extension on the uh, on the antenna? Um, these things that if you put an extension on that you're gonna get a massive, massive loss. So because this is actually a digital digital out, um, it's better to connect this to your this to your radio rather than actually connecting an extension lead on there and having it on a pole because you are going to get mega mega loss through that. So that's why I've actually done it this way. So I can put this on my pole and have the antenna directly on there, and then I can plug that into my Tyrannus. Just a word of warning: uh, number one, you're going to invalidate any warranty on this, obviously. Um, but when you're 
putting it in, make me remember to put the, um, the UFL micro FL connector on the underside of the board before you put the board in. Because obviously this ain't coming out again. I suppose that's a downside of it. Now that's mounted in there nicely. So all I've got to do then is put the top back on. Which I'll do in a minute. Right, it's all done. Um, so the connector now goes in the bottom. And on the back of the Tyrannis, obviously you've got the uh, the five pins on there. So what I've done with the... Um, excuse that hole, that was a previous project that didn't quite go well. Um, I've put the connector on there. So if I can try and do this with one hand. If I can get this on with one hand. I've had to line it up the other way. Anyway, so it now pushes straight in there. So now, when I turn my Tyrannis on, switch warning. Easy UHF is working externally. Perfect. So now I can mount that vertical, I can mount it anywhere, I can put directional antenna, just a patch antenna, I can basically do whatever I want with it. And it's completely free. So there you go.